Today we come here have a fantastic view. We are now deep inside to the piano. We can explore all We still hear the sound, we still hear the sound. So why does some note will keep resonate for a while? And why some note have a very short? If we want to uh, simulate this kind of effect in computer, how do we do? So today we come to a very interesting topic called ADSR, okay? ADSR is a four words uh, acronym, attack, decay, sustain, and release. It's a, it's a model to try to describe how our sound, waveform, their uh, their amplitude, their amplitude behavior, which means the, the, the shape of their volume, okay? So if I say, I just, I just press some node, and maybe let's imagine our node is something like this. Maybe everybody can imagine something like this, but the best way is not to use our own imagination. We just look at into the software because the software nowadays can help us to recall the voice. So we are going to use the technology of the sampling, uh, which we already described before. And later on, I will analyze it, okay? And uh, let you know the difference between uh, different instruments, ADSR, and their behavior, okay? Now I would like to play a bunch of a note on the piano. Of course, you will find that uh, when I press the key and the release immediately, okay, the, the sounds shorter, right? So it's amazing that the piano have a fantastic mechanism to, to maintain this kind of uh, effect. So, uh, so how, do we, how do we achieve that? Okay. Okay, and does some other uh, instrument like a cello or saxophone have uh, its own behavior, the waveform shape, just like a piano? Let's find out. Okay, now I would like to play back, hmm. use my cello. If I play very low do, or sounds different, right? So, if we want to use a digital technology to describe those sound behavior, we got to know their behavior on the uh, software first. We know that there are a lot of factors that affect the quality of the sound, including their harmonic series. But today we are not talking about the the particular harmonic sequence or overtone. We are focused on, uh, if we play back uh, because of the special instrument, have a special way to, to, to make the sound. And we 
feel so differently because they seem to have their own way to maintain their sustained energy. So what does this mean? This means uh, this is our tiny axis, this is our amplitude, our energy. So our signal, if we vibrate this way, the maximum contour of this line, we call its envelope, okay? Have this behavior, and this stage, when we press the key, or when our ball touch the string, we are detecting some vibration and run up to the peak. And this peak state we call the A. Okay? And in piano or some other instrument, after the PK, after the attack, they will go down. They will go down very, very quickly. Okay? Probably the uh, piano won't behave this way. Okay? This is just imaginary, imaginary uh, behavior. But they will go down a little bit. We call it decay. And then the next stage, it seems that the, the, the energy will sustain for a duration. We call it sustain. And then after we release our key, key off, we release our key, the sound vibrate uh, through the air or the resonance, we call it the release. Okay, so you can see the different instrument uh, mechanism will highly affect this. Okay, maybe uh, the, the the string instrument they they have a very very different uh, different pattern of the ADSR, but roughly uh, uh, engineer want to model the sound loudness or uh, the fade away in this way we call it ADSR. So this is a stage, the, the starting point where the press, where the key pressed. This is the stage where the uh, key release, okay. Hmm. So, later on, let's look at the signal to see uh, our ADSR, okay.